come home, go home. We are all home right now. Come home. I feel like I'm coming home in a way because my first Pachacha was in 2007, which feels like a lifetime ago. And this is a piece that I did with my grandmother. And collaboration with family has always been a huge thing that I bring a strong believer in. We've got some pictures here of uh, Super Deluxe and other venues in Tokyo. And I never imagined the world that I would live in today. And I never imagined the things that you could create with a pen. You know, drawing in the clubs in Japan, I drew a path for myself that no one ever imagined for me. And that path took me to New York. And, and this is a picture of my bedroom when I first moved to New York. And it was a safe place. You know, I could wake up and it was one of the first places that was really my own. And I felt safe there and so much that I drew all over the walls and the ceilings and everywhere else. And so drawing in a way has been something that has saved me. It has given me a platform. It's allowed me to travel. It's allowed me to meet so many incredible people from around the world. But more importantly, it's allowed me to ask questions. And it's allowed me to ask these questions and plant seeds. And it's allowed me to ask questions like this, you know, who are you? It's a big kind of existential question that we're all kind of scared of. But if you take a few of these letters away and just look at the W-A-Y, it's more about how are we finding our way in life? I'm finding my way in life through a language of words and lines and drawing. I'm finding my way in life through asking simple questions like, who are you? Are you you? You are you. We are we. And these questions are important to be asked because if we don't understand who we are at the core as people, then nothing else really matters. You know, we can talk about where we're from. We can talk about the jobs that we do. We can talk about the roles that we play in life. But how do we actually answer the question of who we are at the core? And when we start to figure out these questions, we will start to fix the problems in the world. And I love drawing because it's a way of imagining worlds and immersing people in your worlds. And, and I love creating work that is bigger than me physically, because when I draw bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, it shows me that we can be more confident than ourselves. It shows me that we can create with something so simple as a pen, but give it such life that it is bigger and bolder and much larger than anything we can imagine. And I've really enjoyed over the last few years working with different charities, working with different organizations, doing residencies at places like Autodesk where I get to create building blocks that allow me to draw with multiple tools instead of one tool. I've really enjoyed being at places like MIT at the Media Lab where I get to really explore this juxtaposition between creativity and efficiency. And, and here's a circuit board that I designed uh, that some of the functions of the, of the lines tell what the actual sensor does. So this is an air quality sensor that tests for the toxicity in the air. And so, you know, I really love this idea about merging technology and creativity. I've also really enjoyed collaborating with different brands and institution and then shooting them in places like where I grew up. So this is a line that I did with Puma and we actually shot it in Thamesmead in Southeast London. And that's where I grew up. One of these big council estates that no one really wants to live there, but people like myself grow up there. And so we can pay homage to it. And collaborating is a big thing, you know, collaborating with, like I said, brands, institutions, models, rappers, because that's when you really get to bring your voice and someone else's voice and create something really new and fresh. And we talked a little bit earlier, people were talking about this idea of authenticity and where that comes from. And for me, it comes from this idea of just surviving. You know, Why do you draw? Why do you design? Why do you think the way that you think? And it is because we're all culminations of where we're from and working really hard at doing those things. And I loved that I collaborated with the New York City Ballet last year. And that was really amazing because you get to see you know, dancers work seven, eight days a week, even if there isn't eight days in a the week, they're working it. And I love working with people that have such discipline, but also have such 
focus in what they're doing. For a long time, I wanted to create a space for freedom, for poetry, for contemplation. And that fort found a home in this building here. This is on Governor's Island and it's in a decommissioned church. And I created a space called the May Room. And so you walk into the May Room and you take your shoes off and you walk this path in the form of a drawing. And that path says, may you find self. And then on the back wall of this church, this decommissioned church, there's lots of words, may you find self, may you sleep soundly at night, may we save trees, may you, may we. And so that message is coming there. And so everything you know, goes full cycle. And tomorrow, actually, I launch my first art book. And that's kind of incredible because I get to look back and have that power of reflection over a career and over this whole journey and pick it up in a book and look at it and imagine where it can go next. Where am I going to go next? Where are you going to go next? And really just, it's so nice to have this physical thing that allows you to look at your life and look at the path and start to really think about where you're going to go tomorrow and where we're going to go next year. I have no idea where I'm going to go, but I'm very much looking forward to it. And I hope that you are all too. Thank you very much. I'm Chantal Martin and I love drawing. <laughs>